All right, this is an unboxing video for a Maslow CNC router um, with the Z-axis uh, control and the linkage kit for the sled. Um, this box has been opened already. I've gone through the parts a couple times, um, but I, I do want to give you an unboxing of this um, just so you can see what you get when you order a Maslow CNC. Um, and before I start, I just want to mention that a Maslow can be uh, purchased and more information can be found at MaslowCNC.com. So uh, this is how it came. It was in a priority mailbox. It appears to be eight and a half by 10 inches, just judging on this uh, piece of paper that's right inside. Fits in nicely. Um, the first thing that is in there is a uh, kind of a thank you for purchasing as well as the bill of materials. Uh, parts list, instructions, warnings, and where you can go if you need uh, more information. I ordered this uh, this kit back in uh, May, and I received it early of July 2018. Um, and it was a long month and a half wait. Um, I was really excited to get this. I've wanted a CNC for a while, and I've wanted a Maslow. Um, so when I finally was able to purchase one, um, I just couldn't wait for it to come, but now it's here, and now I get to unbox. Um, so the first things I'm seeing in the box after the paper are these hardware kits. We've got some screws with uh, some some nuts in there, um, and then this one has uh, screws and some nails. Um, Maslow comes with everything you need to uh, assemble the frame and put together um, the CNC, um, except for, I believe, the wood, um, some bricks, and... I think that's all. I think everything else is in this box. Um, this kit cost me a little over $400 to buy, um, which is very cheap for a CNC, especially one at this scale. Um, it's a hobbyist CNC, so the accuracy isn't as good as you'd get with a traditional CNC, um, but for $400, this has the capability of cutting a 4x8 sheet of material, um, which I've checked online for similar traditional style CNC's and um, those usually run tens of thousands if not more. Um, so that's a little out of my price range um, so I went with something quite cheaper and I think it'll, it will handle the, the work that I throw at it quite well. Um, so after those first two uh, little hardware bags we have this much larger hardware bag. Um, this is fulfilled by Fastenal for the, the people at Maslow. It um, has everything you need to assemble everything. Um, there are wood screws in there. There's some, some bolts, some more of the tiny screws and nuts, um, more bolts. There's washers. Um, there's sprockets in there, um, some heat sinks, and then uh, some tools and maybe some, I see some hooks in there. So it's everything you need to uh, properly assemble your Maslow. Um, if you follow the directions for the uh, standard uh, kit. So that's in that uh, hardware bag from Fastenal. Um, so as I mentioned before, I have opened this already and I have um, inspected some of the parts, but I, I do want to say that all of the metal parts came wrapped in a similar fashion as this with the paper on the outside and then this uh, softer material um, just to prevent dings and scratches on the inside. So um, this is an example of how all the metal parts are uh, wrapped. I did not rewrap them, um, except for this one, just as an example. So this is one of the stepper motors. Uh, this one is used for the Z axis. Um, it's quite small, um, but but yeah, it'll, it'll uh, move the, the router up and down so you can do a full cut without having to adjust your router. Um, I got the z axis kit as an add-on when I purchased. Um, it. The kit came without it at the time when I purchased, but I believe since then they have started making that a standard option or standard in, included item with the, the kit. Um, and I got the, the kit that should attach to the um, suggested rigid router. I don't have that yet. I will be using um, an older Stanley router that I have until um, I'm able to purchase that, that rigid router. Um, so I'll, I'll be using without the Z-axis kit to begin, um, but then eventually I will be setting up the Z-axis kit. So this is the separate motor for that. Um, and then 
This is the attachment for the Z-axis kit. Um, this attaches to the, the plunge mechanism on the, the rigid router. And then the, the motor will control the depth of that. And it is machined out quite nicely. Next we have, this is, uh, we have the, the linkage kit. This is for um, helping the Maslow triangulate its position and making the calculations on how to do that easier and the setup easier um, from my understanding. So this attaches to the sled and then um, it will, let me get the other parts it, to help explain this. It has these brackets that go with it. These will slide on there like this. And then these brackets will ride on these um, roller bearings. So two will go in here, and then it'll slide around on these like this. And this will make sure that the router stays center in the um, inside of the slide. And then the controlling software does a better job of knowing where the router um, tip is at any at any moment. Um, and I'm told this is quite the improvement over the original idea uh, and it simplifies a lot of things um, in terms of the code for this. So that's that's great to have. So there are four of those roller bearings, two of these brackets, and then one of these rings and that is that attaches to the sled. Next we have a data cable. Um, USB to USB, similar to, uh, the, the same as like printer cables you get for your computer. Um, so there's that. And I believe that is so your, um, the computer that you hook up to the system can talk to the control board, um, sends the data back and forth. Um, and next we have two sets of cables. Um, these appear to be the same. Uh, this is a bundle of two, and this is just a single one. Um, this one, I believe, is for uh, the control board talking to the Z-axis. And then these would be for uh, the control board talking to the two stepper motors. And judging by the just how many folds there are, these appear to be quite long. I'm going to guess maybe six feet each. Um, next, we have two chains. Um, these chains are not as beefy as I expected them to be, to be, to be honest. Um, and I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, I think if they needed to be beefy, they would be. But every time I looked at them online, they looked like really, really hefty chains. And I think I was comparing them to like bike chains, which are a little um, thinner. And if you look closely at that, that looks just a little there's a little more to it, and I think all of the pictures I saw online were just close-ups of these. But these two are used for um, taking the the movement of the separate motor and transferring it to the sled. Um, and there's sprockets that'll go in the separate motor. That's what um, so those are in there. Um, so those will um, roll the chains around, and then by doing so, you can control the x and y axis on the the CNC. So there's two of those. Next we have uh, it's like two bungee cords. Um, these bungee cords are used for the tensioning system um, to keep everything uh, a little more precise while it's moving around, um, the sled's moving around. Um, the great thing about Maslow is that there's a, a fantastic community around this and this is all kind of an open source project. Um, I, I purchased this kit, but um, you could build this from scratch if you wanted. Um, they list the bill of materials online and the, everything is free to, to download. Um, and it's supported by the community. And what the community does is they work on improvements um, for the frame design and uh, the software that's used to control everything. Um, and I believe at some point one of the improvements was adding these bungee cords in as a tensioning system. So the sled isn't swinging around and it stays in its uh, desired place. So it, it, the control board says it's in one place and it actually is in that one place. And these I believe are used to help with that. So two bungee cards. Uh, next we have two of these uh, motor mounts. 
These are used to attach the motors uh, to the top bracket. Um, and like I mentioned before, these were all wrapped in the same way as that, that first motor. They had the paper around them, and then they had that uh, softer material on the inside to protect it. Um, so, just two motor mounts. Uh, and then next we have the uh, these five L brackets. And I'm not entirely sure what these are for, but my guess is based on the spacers of everything that these are for both the linkage kit and actually they would go this way the linkage kit and then the z-axis so there's three for the linkage kit and two for the z-axis to hold everything in place or maybe these are two for the the router to hold them in place um, i guess we'll see um, as i get through this build but there are five of these l um next there is this box um Inside this box is a standard uh, brick power supply AC-DC adapter. I got the US model because I am in the US. Um, yeah, got a feeling I could hook this up to my laptop upstairs and it would run fine. So there is power supply. Next, is, there are these two um, boards. Uh, this one is an Arduino Mega 2560, and then this is a uh, Key Studio Mega 2560 R3, and this is a shield that goes on top of the Arduino, um, and it looks like this accepts the the data connection. I'll pull that out. Um, so this is where the computer comes in. It looks like there's power on that. Um, there's also a power on the Arduino. Um, so these will go together in some way, shape, or form. Looks like there might be connectors this way um, that are poking into this um, foam here. And then these are going to be used to uh, send the different signals uh, to the different motors and control um, the positioning of everything. And it also connects to the computer. Um, the computer will be running a software developed for the Maslow called Ground Control. Um, and it will be sending the G code uh, to these boards. And then finally, we have the two stepper motors. And these are used for controlling the chain. And again, um, I just expected something a little beefier, um, and I don't think it'll be a problem. I'm not complaining, it's just all the pictures online made things look bigger. So, um, in person, these are, I don't know, my hand is maybe eight inches, so that's maybe six inches long. Yeah, um, these will mount to the top of the frame, and then the sprocket will go on here, and the chain will move around that way. And these are interchangeable, there's not a left, there's not a right, you can go on either side. It's two of those. So that is everything that comes with a Maslow CNC um, with a Z-axis kit, which again, I believe is standard now um, with the kits. Um, my plan for all of this is to, now that I have it unboxed, I need to build that frame. And again, it's a 10 foot by like six and a half foot frame, so I'll have to find a place to put that. I'm gonna do a video of the frame build, um, and then I'll do a video of the calibration um, which will come after that, and then a video of the um, cutting the final sled, and then after that I'll start doing some videos where I'm cutting things on the Maslow. Um, my biggest limiting factor right now is that I don't have a good space to put it. i got to rearrange some things in the basement, um, but I will try to keep things moving along and keep the videos coming. If you are interested in Maslow and you want to learn more, um, you can go to MaslowCNC.com and you'll find links there uh, to the forums and more information about the Maslow on their website. Um, and if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe. I will be updating uh, with some more videos as I go through this process. And also I do some more uh, woodworking type videos, so I'll be adding those things as I go as well. Um, so thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you in the future.